like this new label and uh, we going independent you know you know uh, getting control of what's ours you know what I'm saying uh, keeping it fun um, keeping it exciting and you know what I'm saying and just really being able to like really do what we feel you know and, and without all the little That's what we on right now. We on, you know what I'm saying, doing our own thing. You know what I'm saying? From whether it's DVD, movies, theater movies, whatever. Um, whatever. If, if we drop an album every month, you know what I'm saying, we want to be able to do that. We don't want no stipulations on how many albums we can bring out a year. We don't want none of that. Get this some shit off the motherfucking album, yeah. Yeah, that's Thank you. 
Look now when I'm taking them high this shit sound In a race fucked out with a nigga tag Smoking that tree till we fall in the ground They gotta tell me to make up their money We put them down and then get it for fun Smoking them wrong, get their bone wrong Nigga, we talk each other We love to smoke strong, boy I got a sweet note to jump, no Jump, no, 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 no,
drink Making sure the Pogos come to sleep Now I'm fat sack of rocks, hell yeah, I stuff them Police on my drawers, I had to pause it, yeah It's still motherfucker Now my game is tight, tight as fuck, it's my game Easy motherfucking EO, Eric Wright, it's all the same Now niggas might trip on how I stack my grip I got to have it, baby Every time, pull him it down the night Night, find all of me time Check out the whips, the man Drop down, run them up in the neighborhood Grip, when I make it, grip Put it in click, roll up and roll flips But like I be, put it in blood Fuck up and pump blood Got nothing to lose, bitch, you better respect rip When your bitch just check your slut, it's going down Really bumping three rounds Got a rhythmic game, man Gotta make that money, man Still the same
Yeah, so as far as Bone Thug Records, you know what I'm saying, which is associated with all our labels, Unique Entertainment, Mo Thug, Thug Line, you know what I'm saying, FBI, all that. It's like, we got a lot of stuff, man, that we're working on. We got a Wishbone Solo, we got a Leatherface Project, you know, one and two. We got Bruce Halfcock, you know what I'm saying, our male R&B thug. We got Felicia, you know, we got the Mo Thug compilation still that we pumping. We got the Immortal Thugs. We got a Lazy Bone solo, El Burner. So, you know, this Bone Thug Records thing is gonna be off the hook because we just got so much stuff, you know what I'm saying? And we stay in the studio. We stay in the studio and look out for movies. We got a new movie called Dummy Man, which starring Bone Thugs and Harmony, that's gonna be off the hook. So you're gonna have to keep your eyes open. So just stay posted on that web, bonethugrecords.com. Yeah, I'm DJ Unique, the producer of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Now the president of Bone Thug Records, the new indie label from Bone. And we you know we try to do a couple of things independently, you know what I'm saying? Keeping control, keeping this shit fun. But uh, pretty much, you know, just wanted to go back and uh, reminisce on some, some history on how everything came about. Really, I, I'm gonna start with, with my man, Easy. Easy would always hit me like early in the morning, seven o'clock, he was like my alarm clock, you know, page me. It's cold being 187. I jump up and it's always like, what time are you at the studio? And I'll be like, man, noon or something like that. What's up, busy? Got my niggas down there. I remember him calling me early and just was excited, like, man, I got these cats, man, out of Cleveland, because he had just finished like a promo tour from his uh his EP, and he and he stumbled across these cats and uh told me like to meet him up there. So I had to call the owner of the studio, like, dog, it's urgent, man, like, easy, like, want to get off in the studio, and it's like a little earlier than than, than usual. So uh, I met him up there at the studio that I used to record at, called the Black Hole, which was in Hawthorne, California, a little city outside of L.A. And uh, I used to be up there recording the 16 track. And I remember pulling up to the studio and uh, Easy being there before me, that was kind of, you know, unusual. But uh, he was there and he had them all sitting out on like this little wall. And I'm looking at these cats like, man, you know, they had the braids and everything. And you know, it was just like, just hungry. And I'm looking like, man, okay. You know, and he was just telling me, man, these cats is dope, man. I'm telling you, man, wait till, you know, your boy get here. So anyway, you know what I'm saying, my man Kenny pulled up like wondering what was happening, you know what I'm saying, he pulled up, you know, and uh, let us in the studio and uh, I go off into the studio and I'm playing beats and uh, the thing is, it's like working with Easy, you know what I'm saying, it's like he got a lot of groups that's kind of kicking more of the gangster style, that's more of the LA style of music, you know, so I had a lot of tracks, like a dat full of tracks and um, I'm playing a lot of gangster beats, just hitting them with hardcore gangster shit, right? And you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, they not really moving. So I'm looking at E, E looking at me, and um, I'm like, man, what's happening? So they was like, man, you know, like, we, you know, we really ain't, you know, really on that vibe right there, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this stuff is cool, but we really not on that vibe. So I was like, oh, okay. So one of the members, uh, I believe was crazy, he was like, man, uh, he asked Easy. He turned around to Easy, like, man, who did that track for, uh, what was the group? Uh, Menage a Trois, you know, called uh, Cousins Like That. He said, man, you know, so that's the kind of vibe we on. 
And that was all I needed to hear because that was a track I did for one of the groups that Easy had. So um, I was like, oh, okay, so y'all on that type of vibe. That was kind of different because uh, that was more of a smooth, laid back vibe. So uh, Easy took them to go get some clothes because they fresh out here from Cleveland. They, they, they made their way down here or whatever. Or he, he sent them down here and uh, they had to get some clothes. So they was like, man, we're going to go get some clothes and uh, we're we going to come back in a couple hours. So they left and uh, I stayed in the studio and, you know, cranked out some tracks. I did, I did a couple of tracks and uh, one of the first tracks I did was Creeping on the Come Up. That was like the, like the very first track and that was the name of their first EP. came back to the studio and uh, I didn't have no music plan so I was like oh yeah man you know I didn't came up with a couple things I want y'all to check it out tell me is this the vibe y'all feeling so I hit play on the drum machine man they instantly just went crazy like dog that's it you know what I'm saying so we you know we clicked from that that moment on pretty much they were like that's the vibe that's that's man that's us <laughs> Back then we had the box and the box was like the main thing that helped us, you know what I'm saying, get exposure. So we had the box and uh, we was shooting a video in Cleveland for Thuggish Ruggish Bone when the single came out. And um, while we was out there, you know what I'm saying, we started going around to the stores trying to see what's in all the stores and all that. But um, it just started making noise, man. Everybody started catching on to it and they became like the talk like everywhere, you know. You know, I was able to come up with like a signature sound for them, you know what I'm saying, that that was, that complimented they style of rap real good, you know what I'm saying, which was kind of like a slower tempo. Smooth but dark at the same time, and that's pretty much, you know what I'm saying, the thuggish, ruggish sound. I remember like being in the studio and uh, they, they had thought um, Eternal, they, they pretty much had been working man so hard, they had thought that Eternal was like pretty much through. I said, man, um, I got this one track, you know what I'm saying, that y'all gotta get on. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, man, dog, man, we finished, man. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to call it a rap. I'm like, come on, man. So I remember grabbing Cray, like, come man, come listen to the track, man. Check it out. Cray come, standing for a minute, listen to the track. And uh, the track wound up being first of the month. Got, like, I remember like when we got halfway finished with uh, Eternal, it was like, you know, they had started making so much noise. And, the, you know, I guess like with radio and, and the box giving them play, and uh, people start calling for shows. So, you know, easy would have like a studio booked for a month. So 
I was like, man, I know y'all need some cheese or whatever because, you know what I'm saying, they was off in the studio doing their thing, and you know how the, how the industry is. You kind of get, you know, your back in, like, once you finish up everything or whatever. And uh, we had um, we had took off for a minute, man, and, and went and knocked out two shows. I remember booking, like, they first couple paid gigs, you know, after they got signed with Rufus. I kind of took them out there, knocked it out, no security, no nothing. Back in the day, you know, like, you could, like, pop up in somebody's video. Like, if you're a person like Easy or Dr. Dre, you could pop up in the video, and that showed that the person was affiliated, and that was pretty much, nine times out of ten, good enough for a person to kind of get some sales from that. But, uh, you know, it was coming in, you know, it was like the 90s, so it was like, okay, yeah, we got Easy in the video and everything, but, man, y'all got to hit these streets. So I came out of my pocket and paid for their first uh, sampler cassettes. <laughs> They would see like, man, you know, these cats is putting it down. You know what I'm saying? So they would kind of push up on E like, dog, what's up, man? How come we don't got jackets? How come we don't got t-shirts and snippets and street team? Cause I had a little street team and everything. And E would be pointing like, man, that's that nigga, man. So I was doing the producing, promoting, marketing. I was everything, co-managing. Cause if you look on Eternal, I got the management credit on Eternal. You know, like me and Lazy would just go for it, man. Like, you know, we click right off as far as that business. So, you know, I was just like that big brother to him. You know what I'm saying? And just really, but man, just, just had a bond with him. Now, therefore, I, Michael R. White, the 54th mayor of the city of Cleveland, do proclaim October 30th, 1994, as Bone Thugs and Harmony Day in Cleveland to join me in this heartfelt welcome home to our nationally known rappers and wish for them an exciting and highly successful concert. Thank you. It's Cleveland in the house. Let me hear you say yeah. something I want to give the guys myself. It's a double platinum album for Creeping on a Come Up. And they deserve it. Don't y'all think so? I said, don't y'all think so? All right. Because they putting Cleveland on the map. Hey, everybody have a good time tonight. Thanks for supporting Don't the no problem. Cleveland. It's all love. It's all love.
to serve them, we come to serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them, we serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them, we serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them, we serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them. We come to serve them, we come to serve them, we serve them. They're trying to get with thee. That just can't be. I'm gonna get those. Come inside and super troop. Pop two. Yeah, Luke. Think I gotta recoup. Don't lie. Giddy up. I'm about to try to put one bomb. I'm gonna make you cry. Leave it up to me. Cause I'm gonna get wild. I get my serve on my thieves. <laughs> Hollering my thing. Yeah. Even them nervous at thieves. Oh, yeah. And I'm in it. Just to win it. Me and my click. No doubt. Oh, yeah. Whoever steps in. Gonna be victim of a king. Then I got. Kids on the avalanche. Trying to get together like Voltron. But I'm gonna be bigger than Megatron. Hella bomb. Then the see we better fix they telecom. With no mercy, we come to serve on. Me hit a leader, so I can get away that is against us. When I'm playing, I can spit the shit I'm making fools shiver. You can never get out without me, right? We're just too damn broke, y'all. Cause he's like this. You can never get out with my guy, and that goes for all y'all. Cause he's like that. We come to serve on. 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 We serve on. We come to serve on. We come to serve on. Sacrifice my life for this You bite to lose your f***ing this I pay the mighty price for this You damn right I fight for this To rap and stay flight I wish you never start liking this I tell your dreams the whole scene I'm a king that's why my own brings Order when I'm before the fiends Show rappers what I'm on the means I slaughter with the order team My water force who over me My squad my night my water ring Attack your team like Wolverine I decapitate every rap you make he gets your cabin straight I had to take that savage state Till you recognize your magistrate I travel at a faster rate Open the kid up with bastard state Make f*** my craft ain't half as great On my hands with an half with a Why you better waste waste that procrastinate Let out, calculate the gas and shake And navigate to where the masses wait To elevate when the go motivate I know you stay like Saddam do Go on before you trauma do No salam, I'm bomber you I sold you for a promise you Kingpin on the mother Rilla, till I desire, never lizard, stupid mother Wrong to know, where's I? We come to serve them, let these know who we run this beat. I'm on the quest for dough. ALJ, the chameleon for show. Hit the top 10, just give me my dough. Straight serving them, like y'all never heard of them. When the drops and stills, y'all spilling them. Play the cut, observing it. Champion, you heard of him. Y'all can't these, spread like disease. Wanna quarantine G's, please. First one stepping in tall. Coming up laws, laws, players, flaws. Cause it's on the ride, ride, ride. For the gentleman in the ride, suicide if you to get this high. They fly with a broad up on the side. Gonna hustle from morning till the night. Can't fight with the state of mind. It's yours and mine. Live my life live. Serving them all the time. Right? 